Hi, welcome to Mrs. Bella's messy desk for today. Uh, today we're going to be making a little cardboard house. It has a little lid, and so I drop it on the floor. Uh, got a little door that opens, and you can take cute little critters like this, or Lego figures, or anything else that you have that you want to play with, and they can go in a little house and you can make a little world and to make it easy for the little creatures to play with the little creatures the roof that will not keep on can be taken off as you can see so anyway we're going to learn how to make it using the um, cardboard pattern as you can see there's some marks on the inside that you got today when you picked up your kit and if you didn't pick up your kit you can watch anyway um then there you go all right, friends, here is your pattern, and we're going to cut along the black lines, all of them, even this right here, and then we're going to fold along these. The B stands for bottom. Don't worry about the yet. So take your pair of scissors and start cutting. Okay, now at this point, you've got all your things cut and you're gonna start folding. So fold along that line right there. And if you want to, you can turn it over. Sometimes this helps me. I turn it over so I can kind of see where the lines are to fold. So there's that one. This one's gonna need to fold up too. And then this one. Fold on all the little red dotted lines. Okay, and now you're ready for, to assemble. To assemble your house, you need tape. Go get some tape. Okay, what you will do, flip your house over. Now, it's up to you. Do you, if you don't mind seeing the lines and stuff on the outside, then we're gonna fold it up just like you folded it. If you don't want to see the lines on the outside and you don't care that you can see them, there we go, on the inside, then I would suggest redoing your folds so that everything, all the lines and stuff are located on the inside of your house. So fold it toward the little lines. And what you will do, this is the bottom. Um, this is gonna be the front door area. You will fold the two sides up and then overlap these to make one side. And then you'll get a piece of tape. And you can tape the top. Just one for right now would be enough. And then you're gonna wanna tape this at the bottom. So however you wanna do that. I just need a couple of pieces. It doesn't have to be amazing. There's that one. And maybe one right here. Just to hold your walls together. Oops, that didn't do very good. And you'll notice it's kind of, <laughs> this is still open. So the reason why we cut right here means that this area is going to need to be taped, but it's just easier than trying to poke through here. And then you just tape that. Uh. All right, and just keep taping. 
Take that side, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've got all of the sides taped right here. I've got the top tape. You can, if you want, tape this back here and this um, right here. You can tape that if you want, just make it sturdy. Then you can take the whole thing and paint it or draw on the sides or cover it with paper or whatever you want it to make it look like. Here's your front door. And then the top is open so that you can put it down and then play with it. I happen to have a little puffball kitty here, a little bull felted kitty cat, and he's gonna live in it. Uh, and then your little hot dog holder that's in your kit is the roof. And so it just sits right down there. So let me turn it sideways so you can see it. It'll look like this. And then the kitty will be, well, kitty's kind of falling everywhere, but he's inside. And that's what it'll look like from the outside. And then when you want to play with him, you just take the lid off and you can play. Hello. And that's how you make a house. And so that, my friends, is how you make a little house for your creatures to live in. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see pictures of your houses and your creatures. Uh, just tag me uh, at the Artie Makerspace on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.